G'day guys and welcome back to another episode. Since we are camperless at the moment, we recently just sold our Forbes 13, um, waiting on the arrival of our new one. Um, I thought we'd go back and do a look at where it all started, back at our first MDC camper trailer and some of the places we went in it and what we did. and. We um, lived in this thing for 12 months while we did our lap around Australia in 2017. The um, five of us, the three boys. So um, we'll show you a bit of footage of us here setting it up. And um, we had that pretty much down pat by the end of the trip. Or well, not even the end of the trip, the first month had that sorted. Everyone had their jobs and um, worked really well. And then, um, yeah, we'll show you how we used to live out of it, set it up with the boys in there and and all our little knickknacks and little quirky things that we had just to make our lives a little bit simpler on the road so yeah this one's a bit different to the last few episodes but hope you enjoy to see where it all started from being so close to each other for so long on the road so we thought we'd just give us a bit of an insight to what we do. So this is our campsite, basic setup. We're here four nights so we don't have the annex or the other tent set up but we've got the awning off the ute. We tend to back the ute inside the camp like this. So it makes it easy. And, um, table set up, kids do school work. And eat from <laughs> and we've got our fire area, most of the cooking gets done. Um, fire drum for most places now you have to have a fine fireplace with the bottom in it to catch all your ash, so we've got the fire drum there. Um, and then this is a kitchen, single light, <laughs> got sick of I bought a light kit, got sick of setting it up. It took me longer to set all the bloody lights up than it did to set the tent up. So I'd done away with all those and I just went with a single LED spotlight which lights up the whole area perfect and quick and easy. Uses no power. Got a little burner. We use, boil the billy and put the frying pans and that on. Little quick connect gas connection so the hose is nice and easy to connect. A bit of a perk when you're a hydraulic fitter you get to find these little <laughs> little um, gadgets that are nice and easy and accessible for you. Um, this kitchen drawer, all our tucker, all goes in here, just slides out. Food goes in our tubs. Easy to get to. And then you can just slide it back in. No worries. Um, in the blue drum tub there, that's all our cooking gear, frying pans, pots, um, extra paper towel, all your lock, plastic containers, aluminium trays, all the different bits and pieces, so it's all just together. And then it just gets slid in under the trailer when we pack up. 
Um, so yeah, we tend to try and keep everything in boxes as much as we can, individual containers, to make it easy to move them and pack them. We go inside now. The kids just all sleep in swags. Usually they sleep inside the tent unless we're staying somewhere for a week or more we will set up the tent outside and a couple of them might sleep in the tent or one sleeps in here and two sleeps in the tent. Jackson's just demonstrating how he sleeps. Well done. So clothes go in the little tubs. We just found it easier and if anything gets, if it starts raining or we get a lot of wind and sand, dust, etc. It just keeps everything just out of the weather, I suppose. And it's our tubs. packing up in the rain. Yes. And this is Raleigh's and my bed up here. We sleep up here, we get the inner spring mattress because we're old, so Quite we don't healthy. need to swag it anymore. So this is our little home. Very cozy. Very cozy. <laughs> We'll go back outside. We'll take you around to the shower. This is the ensuite. Pop up tent. They're easy. Um, put the gas out. It comes outside. Set up. Chair in there. All good. Head. Or we use a solar bag. Um, but that's really good on gas. We tend to have probably 12 showers per gas cylinder. Um, we tend to use 10 litres of water each for a shower on average. So we don't shower every single night. But yeah, a swim, a swim counts as a shower. Yeah. And then speak control panel basically but cigarette plug for the shower USB charging points if we need extra ones and then switches for that tells me me voltage power sockets and the 12 volt pump so I've put in here our freezer I've got a 38 litre angle, fits in there, um, uh, Waco sorry, a 38 litre Waco <laughs> that sits in there, I did have a 38 litre angle and I sold it because it didn't too many fit, fridges. and um, so we put this one in, so that's all freezer, that's just freezer, um, works perfect, we can put probably three weeks worth of meat in there. Um, we cry back it all flat most of the time. So, and it draws bugger all power because we get into it once a day, that's it. It stays shut, you get out your food that you want. Um, and then the my solar panels plugged in at the moment because we had a bit of an issue with our charging system. So I've got a plug that sits there, goes down into your batteries which are on the other side. Um, nice and easy. That's the one thing. Everything has to be easily accessible, otherwise you couldn't be bothered um, once you've had too many of these. To do anything. <laughs> uh, now all of our other stuff we tend just to pack into tubs. It's just easier. It keeps the weather out. They stack. It's just quicker and easier when we are unpacking them off the rack that Rolly built. All that stuff goes in those rooftop bags. And it just makes life a lot easier. We do have a lot of crap we don't need, but we can't really send it home now. <laughs> and we've got two other fridges in the Hand back crusher. of the Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Best modification ever. Yep.
sure has been the most important yeah, modification to the trailer. <laughs> Minimises your rubbish. That's right. Especially when you're somewhere and you're not going anywhere for a couple of weeks. We've only gone places and we've come out with a tiny bag full of rubbish because what we can burn, we burn. And the plastic and cans get compacted and taken out with us. So, very good. Well, thanks for watching our video today. Please feel free to like and share and comment our page, Memories Not Money. And maybe we might see you on the track somewhere.